favorite dish. This is very difficult because food is my number one thing in life, even before music, I think. <laughs> so I would say a favorite dish, uh, Japanese top, top quality sushi, specifically uni, uh, which is sea urchin, my favorite thing. So I'll, I'll have to pick that one. Maybe hamburgers too, I love a good hamburger. Right now my, probably my biggest guilty pleasures is watching good TV shows, which I, I uh, download on iTunes. I should be reading on the planes, but now I watch and follow shows like Breaking Bad, uh, Game of Thrones, the Americans, that's the new one that I've just started watching. And so I, I'm not reading as much as I used to and it makes me feel guilty, but I love good TV. You know, it's possible to appreciate a composer even though you don't click with that composer. And that's how it is for me with several of the 20th century and many of the 21st century. Uh, so I would have to say Schoenberg. I know I'm supposed to love it. I just don't play it. If I were a king, the most important issue would be making sure that there's freedom for my, my uh, subjects. Because I think freedom is the most important thing in civilization. And I would stop calling them subjects. Well, number one for sure is, is uh, eternal life. Because that's what I want. I don't want to die and I want to live forever. So that's, if I can't have that one, I would love to fly. Like right now, off my, my balcony here and fly up into the into the mountains, that would be the most incredible experience. Well, since I, I, I do like the idea of flying, being a bird would be pretty fantastic. Being a dog would be nice because I do like people and dogs get along with people. I'm a very good sleeper, but mostly for naps. I, I'm, I can take 20 minutes and completely be dreaming and, and totally asleep and then wake up 20 minutes later. Uh, so I don't have much problems with that. At nighttime, occasionally I do medicate with melatonin. Do you ever watch it? <laughs> okay, can't we all admit that we're all voyeurs on some level? I think we can. I don't really have a nickname, uh, although my friend, my great friend, Stephen Isserlis, the cellist, calls me Mr. Nkomo. How about that? He was a leader of Rhodesia way back when, and his first name was Joshua, and for some reason, he started, Stephen started calling me Mr. Nkomo. I don't look anything like him, I promise you. I, d I do not want to die, but I suppose I will. Uh, so painlessly um, and probably very quick with my, f my loved ones all around me, but then it probably wouldn't be quick. It could be really interesting to have um, Aristotle, Sigmund Freud, Albert Einstein, and Beethoven too, if he's free. If I could just have the internet, that would be, make me very, very happy. I can do a lot with that. I can download all the music I want. I guess bring my violin, my Stradivarius violin as well. And uh, yeah, that's all I need, those two things, the violin and the internet, and one friend. I would say uh, about an eight. I like to be honest whenever possible, but uh, after concerts here in Verbier, when I go backstage, I'm not always totally honest. Sometimes I say I hated it when I really loved it. I think I said it before, uh, Schoenberg. People are gonna kill me. <laughs>